I'm David Navarro. And I'm Lauren Glassberg and for Charlene Alicott. And we begin this half hour with the ongoing farewell to Queen Elizabeth II. King Charles III and Queen Camilla just arrived back in London. Earlier, they were in Wales as part of their tour of the United Kingdom. A Prince William and Princess Catherine today visited with Commonwealth troops at the Army Training Center in Surrey. They thanked them for their service in the Queen's upcoming state funeral on Monday. And the line to see Queen Elizabeth lying in state was so long that officials temporarily kept new mourners from joining the line for a few hours. Eyewitness News anchor Sandra Bookman joins us again live from London with more. Sandra. Yeah, Lauren, as you just pointed out, King Charles back in London. He is, in fact, at Buckingham Palace. Landed about 30 minutes ago. The royal chopper dropped him off at the palace. He and the Queen Consort in Wales, as you said, uh, among the events they attended, a prayer service this morning at, at the cathedral there in Cardiff in Wales. This, of course, the new king's first visit to Wales as king. Meanwhile, back here in London, that line to view Queen Elizabeth its coffin. Well, it is back open to new mourners. That happened a short time ago. The line was shut down earlier today after the government said it had reached capacity, and they are warning anyone interested in viewing the coffin at this point. The wait could likely be 24 hours. There was, however, one person who did not seem to mind that wait, at least one person who did not seem to mind that wait at all. That would be soccer great David Beckham. He told us he got in line this morning around 2.30. He was in line for more than 12 hours, wanted no special treatment, said he wanted to pay his respects to the queen, and the least he could do was to wait in line with everyone else to pay tribute to her majesty. Meanwhile, the Metropolitan Police telling us that this is the largest security operation that they have ever handled, especially considering all of the head of state that are now arriving, expected to be here for the funeral on Monday. So t we expect that security will get tighter and tighter and tighter as that day approaches. So to say that it's tight, security is tight, is probably an understatement. We're live in.